Okay, Mr. Bellion here. Take two on um, tracing your own, um, I guess, name in Illustrator, the typography exercise. Uh, what I want to do is re, I guess I'm, I'm just going to go over one of these letters. I'll do the O, maybe, or the R. Um, and then it, the whole purpose of the trace here is to export into Maya. And I found that using the Pathfinder um, divide method is not really conducive to importing um, Illustrator files into Maya. Okay, so I'll just make that note in advance here. Okay, this will go a little faster than usual. So I don't want anything here as a foreground. I'm just going to swap a row here. Just keep it. Okay. So maybe I'll just do the P really fast, and then we'll show you how to export that into um, Maya. A couple things. I can come in here and actually make this perfect, like, you know, get that point there. But what I do at times is actually do indiv um, additional points. Just because when I extrude this into 3D app, I'd like more nodes here. Okay, so, um, whoa. Um, you know, click and drag, click and drag is what we're doing. It's left click and drag. Uh, one more time, I can come over here. Actually, I'm just going to just bring it here just to bring that over. Boom. Again, I don't really care if it's accurate or not because I can always fix it. I'm just going to come down here. And one more shot here. Click and drag. Boom. Don't worry about how it looks. And then let's close it up. Make sure there's an O here. Excellent. And to double check, as soon as you do that, just flip. Flip the foreground to the outline, to the stroke. You're good to go. Okay, I'll do one more item. And before, like I said, we use the Pathfinder um, divide here. But we don't want to do that, okay? We don't want to use that tool. Um, again, it doesn't work well with Maya. So after many attempts, um, you know, we'll see how this one will work for us. So quickly here, uh, the letter P, leave it, boom, refine. Come in with the white arrow tool, sub-select tool here, and then just uh, bring it in. And then we'll look at this, this one here. And sometimes if you're selecting and you find a whole um, stroke is selected, you may just have to do a marquee select. Marquee select is just, you know, select a node here. Oh, I missed it. There you go. I can bring that over here and so on. Okay, get that nice arc going. That looks pretty good. A good curve. Boom. And then let's look at this one here. Yep, I can just select it on its own and bring it down a touch there. Um, if I want to break the connection, I just hold Option down and control this side. And I think it's looking pretty good. I can handle it. And uh, maybe I can come out. Whoa. Sorry. I want to get both selected here, the actual node. It's not letting me at this point. Amazing. OK, no worries. We'll fix it from this side. See? There. Here seeing it at all. Let me just go to com command Y, outline mode. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's the picture underneath. So there's my point. OK, now I have it. Command Y, and then we'll bring that back, or control Y for you guys out there. OK, just a bit more. OK, so we'll leave it. This is good enough for me right now. And let's pick this point. Bless you over there. All right, so this is cool. I'm good, happy with this. And let's talk about what I'm going to do, uh, how I'm going to prepare it in order to go into a 3D app like Autodesk Maya. Um, yeah, let, let me peek down here. One last thing here. Um, let me just get my sub-select tool here. And then there is one in here somewhere, right? Where is it? There. OK, I just want to just do a little slight curve here. I don't know why I'm not seeing it. I'm just going to hide my uh, neat layer here. The image. See this little jog here? I don't like that look. Okay, so there's that, and I'll just control it here, get the point, just bring it over a touch. Yeah, okay, and again here. Actually, I'll just break it right. Let me just zoom in again. Love that you can do that. Um, okay, we'll just take this one over a touch, and I'll bring it in like this, okay? And it's too sharp of an edge, because that's gonna it's not going to be that great in, in Maya. I should have mitered the edges, but anyway, it's okay. So here we go. I'm just going to bring it out a touch so maybe we can have less of an arc. I'll play over here and um, move it a touch. Anyway, that's better. All right, there's my letter P. A couple things. Um, foreground, background. Okay, so the letter P in its, in its entirety, the outline of the letter P, um, is here. I'm just going to fill it just for now. I'm going to reverse here. Need to select it first, and ultimately, guys, you got to get rid of the stroke. Okay, 
the stroke has to go, um, in my opinion, at this point. So I'll switch, done, and then I'll come over here, and uh, if I go to Command Y Outline Mode, I'll find the inside here. The negative space, I'm going to change that color to something else so we can see it. Yeah. Boy, it's going to be a huge contrast here. Um, let's go to this one and just make it maybe dark blue. Okay, Command Y. There we go. Okay, so this needs to be in the background, this needs to be in the foreground. So you select one or the other and just right click, arrange, bring to front. Okay, so as we did in the past, we did um, combine and divide, no go. We're just going to go in this Boolean effect here. Watch what this does here. Okay, let's hold up. And there. And what it's doing is actually combining the two and deleting the inside. You can see that. Two item, two uh, shapes come together, and the negative space is uh, deleted. So this is what we just did. So I wanted this to be the foreground, uh, sorry, the background, and not the foreground. Now it's just one item only. Okay, good enough. I want to keep this short. So I have this. Um, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let me try to export this or save it as. And we want to go to Illustrator 8. Uh, let's see, keep it Illustrator um, AI in class demo numéro de underscore morning am okay so presto images it's in here that's my file and then here's this is the key here so i said in class yesterday keep it as illustrator 8 don't worry about the rest press ok good to go okay so we have our letter we kind of know where this is just go into uh, maya delete these guys or bye bye and i'm going to bring it in okay so we're not going to go file import we're actually going to go create because there is an area here for adobe illustrator objects so i'm just going to select the object uh, sorry the option box i'm trying to rush here i apologize if this is in curves it's no big deal but what we're going to do is actually extrude it out and have some interesting shapes now normally this is going to be a disaster because this is set to point 0.1 um, and don't worry about it. don't worry about the pain it'll be fine okay um, i'm going to go to edit and i'm going to reset so you guys can see things there it is it's bevel okay now where did everything go here Okay, yeah, so this is how it is straight out, straight out. We'll just do that and create. Okay, now it's going to ask you, where is this file? I'm going to go to my docs, document, bellion, uh, back up again. And we're going to go Castlebrook, period four, presto. And this is the one I just brought in, this one here. Okay, open. Don't be afraid. Okay, so here it is. Okay, oh, I brought all of them. Awesome. And other ones here. Cool. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're not going to panic. Okay, good to go. Select the item, and we're gonna. You, you'll see it all in here in the outliner, poly surfaces. Okay, no big deal. Um, so I'm gonna select one. Go to Control A. I said Control A, people. Oh, Control A right here. Doing this in the dark doesn't work. Okay, so you're gonna look for a bevel plus over here. Like look up here, poly, poly, whatever, poly three. Bunch of arrows going right, going left. However, you'll see here. Paul, uh, bevel plus. As soon as you see the plus selected, because that's your setting, okay? So right off the bat, you can see that these are extruded, and there's beveling going on. No worries, okay? So what we want to do is play around slowly in this and watch in real time how things are changed. Look at that, right there. Okay, I'm just going to focus on this one. And notice now we have a super amount of extrusion, so I can just leave it. That's nice. That's looking crisp. And then let's look at the bevel depth. You know, out, in, that kind of thing. And then you look at the extrusion. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I'm just going to play around a bit more. Whoa. Right there, out, in, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So that's a lot better than before. And notice that all of these were affected. So take your time. Bring it in. Okay. Have fun with it. I'm going to try to stop here because I'll continue with uh, changing materials and so on. Okay, this is pretty cool. We did this demo here in class yesterday. This is a review, so you guys have a copy of it or a version of it. And notice here we've got some weird things going on, but that's okay for now, okay? So you just need to take your time and work on this, okay? Next, I'll make my own. I'll go over here in the next video. I'll show you how to make your own text using the actual Create Text tool, okay? This is you importing your own logo. Awesome. See you, Valiant Out, folks. Thank you very much. Take care.